Yeah, um, so one important point or the main goal of, uh, you know, one of the main goals of doing this uh, one meal a day was to see what impact it has on my triglycerides. And uh, I am happy to report that for the first time in at least 10 to 12 years, my triglycerides have uh, come down and it's kind of permanently come down, I'd say. Uh, at least it looks that way so far. Um, so that is one uh, one uh, good benefit that I got out of all this. Um, I, I'll show you my, I have some interesting uh, data to share with you, uh, where I had recorded uh, uh, my lipids for the past several years, I've been doing that. So the most recent data uh, I can show you and how going on this diet affected uh, my triglycerides and, and other lipid profiles. So here is my most interesting uh, takeaway from uh, from the one meal a day or intermittent fasting, uh, which is uh, one of the two things that I uh, wanted to try this for. Um, so uh, one of which was triglyceride, lowering my triglyceride and you know, and here you can see uh, the historical data from my uh, lipid profile test. Uh, so my triglyceride has been consistently high above 400. So this is more recent data, but I have data that goes as far as um, far back as 2006 or 2008 time frame. And there also you can see that it is uh, around the 400 range, you know. Um, so 300, 400 is considered very high and the uh, optimal range is I think below 1, uh, 200, 180, 200, somewhere around that line. So uh, I had tried um, uh, dieting, I had tried exercises, I had tried olive oil and uh, I think some uh, homeopathic medicines as well uh, during this uh, period and uh, it has had only a marginal impact. So uh, it always comes back to a higher number uh, no matter what I do. So all of these things uh, like exercise and uh, uh, diet plans didn't help me uh, as much as I um, wanted to. As you can see, it never came down to um, the ideal range or safe range, um, so which is below 200. So here you can see uh, on April, around April 26th, I started intermittent fasting or one meal a day, uh, that's what I was following from April to July very rigorously, um, so religiously. So um, as soon as I started it, it just took to uh, 222 from uh, close to 600. That is very surprising. Um, so during the first month, it's, it just came, crashed uh, to uh, 222, which was the lowest value I had seen in 10 years. <laughs> Or more, ten to twelve years, and then next month onwards it goes, you know, you know, springs back up, but then it again comes, uh, you know, comes down gradually. So I don't know what is the explanation behind that uh, 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 fluctuation, but uh, in the long term you can see that it did uh, stabilize uh, under two hundred, um, which no medicine, no diet, or no exercise could help me achieve in the past 10 years. So that is a very interesting um, uh, experience or a very interesting outcome of my intermittent fasting with regards to triglyceride. At the same time, uh, if you look at my cholesterol and other lipid uh, levels, uh, you know, I have uh, cholesterol levels listed here. Uh, if you look at the cholesterol level, it has been more or less within range. Even that should be below 200 I believe but it's more or less within control you know uh, so with intermittent fasting and one meal a day it seems to have increased which from certain explanation from various sources I, I feel that it is kind of expected um, so it has marginally increased um, and it is more or less consistent uh, around that uh, you know between 250 uh, in the 250 range so um, so that is the impact of uh, this diet or um, the lifestyle modification that I had. A very great outcome. Um, so hopefully uh, the risk of uh, heart attack and all that comes down for me uh, because of this. And so as I told you, um, I have been struggling with triglycerides for more than uh, two, 10 to 12 years. 
and uh, in in six months or eight less than eight six months it has come down to or stabilized at a very low range and it's which has been uh, wonderful and so i hope uh, you so i hope you um <coughs> get uh, something out of this uh, and uh, hopefully it helps improve your health as well so if you want to know more about my experience and get uh, other videos uh, do hit subscribe um, and stay healthy